you know, so much of the questions that I get are going to be centered around, you know, can you be like Coach Olson? Was was this program just because of him? And you know, where do you go from here? Can Arizona become the old Arizona again? And I think a number one, before you move forward, you really have to embrace the past. If you're someone who worries about breaking the streak of 25 years, if you're somebody who says, "Boy, that's a big shadow that I have." cast behind me and what if we don't win right away you're not going to be very successful in the situation that I'm in you know to me embracing former players embracing coach Olson embracing what's happened in the past is the prerequisite for future success and you know, I talk about our program a lot about it being a players program you have former players that have to believe in who you are as a coach in your program moving forward they have to support you they have to believe that you're going to do the job and do it the right way. You have the current players, which you have to treat right and develop, bring out the best in. And then obviously you have the future players that you have to recruit the very best of the best and people who fit the Arizona community, both University and Tucson. When you think about that, that's three different layers, but it's all about that, the players. And I want Steve Kerr to believe and love Arizona beyond Coach Olson because the new coach is working hard, doing things the right way, and we're establishing a program. And I want our current players to believe in our staff because no one's more important than them, the ones we already have. And certainly I want future programs to believe in Arizona on what we can be. But in my brief time working with our players, knowing what I knew prior to them coming here, we were very fortunate to have the class of 2009 at Arizona. I mean, on April 6th, when I walked into our locker room, Considering that I'm not sure Nick Wise wanted to come back, knowing that Zane Johnson was going to transfer, and knowing that there were a lot of players in that locker room who had never really played a lot, uh, Kyle Fogg and Jamel Horn what would be the two most significant contributors. I mean, we had as many as six, seven scholarships, and you're looking at a season that, quite frankly, I signed up for as the new coach. So that class of five, what it does is it gives us a great starting point in a group to build behind.